Quarantine. Friday, May 8th. Mother's Day weekend. Make sure you get your mother something. We're dressed up like superheroes for the thousandth time. And I gotta go to play superheroes. As you can see, I'm Miles Morales. This is Iron Man. We hope you enjoy your question today. This is Mr. H here. So I was able to figure out the protein structure of COVID. However, now I realize after we map out the protein structure that COVID is made up of nine different cells. And in each cell, there is a certain number of amino acids. So if you can see here, I have eight amino acids in that top left cell, four amino acids in the bottom left cell, and seven amino acids here in the far right cell. Now, I need to figure out how many amino acids are in all of the rest of the cells. And the only rule is that all columns, this is a column, this is a column, this is a column, all three numbers in each column have the same exact sum. And they also have the same exact sum as all three numbers in this row, this row, and this row. And the same exact sum as all three numbers that are in this diagonal and also the three numbers in that diagonal. So again, what are the numbers that belong in the missing cells? Every single three number column or three number row or three number diagonal must equal the same. What up my quarantine math people? Back at it again and Mr. H has brought some fire today. So we're going to get started. Um, so the rules were all the columns and all the rows have to have the same sum. So we're going to actually use a, well, the cool thing about this question is really anybody can do it because it only involves adding. This is a different thought process in memorizing a formula or memorizing how to multiply using the standard algorithm. This is really logic in thinking through things. So we're going to use these three numbers to help us find our another number. And then we're going to use three more numbers to help us find another number. And we're just going to go through the process all over again. So I know that this box right here is shared between eight plus four and then seven in whatever number this is. This might, this add end, I think that's the right term, is shared between those numbers. So I'm gonna write out two equations. So I'm gonna say eight plus four plus, I don't know, we'll use a variable t, equals something we don't know. And then we also have seven plus this number plus t also equals this same number. So I could use a variable here, we could use V. Okay, V has to be the same. But what I know is, okay, well eight plus four is 12. That means seven plus another number also have to be 12. Because if I'm adding the same number here and I'm getting the same sum, these first two numbers have to be equal to seven plus whatever number this is. So if eight plus four is 12, that makes this number five, okay? So now we're gonna use that same concept to help us find our next number. So he also said the diagonals are going to be equal to the columns and the rows, which means now that I know two of the numbers in this diagonal, eight plus five plus this number right here, okay, are going to equal V, which means it shares this add end with four in this other number. So now four plus something plus this number is going to equal V. And again, we're gonna use the same concept. Okay, well, if this is the same number, we'll just call it, I don't know, A, then eight plus five has to be the same thing as four plus this number, because when you add A to it, it gives you the same sum. So eight plus five is 13, which is going to make this number nine, because now these are both 13, and when you ever add this third number to it, it's gonna give you the same sum. So now I know that this is nine. Now I know that this number is nine. So really what we're doing is we're looking for which box can we find two add-ins, right, that share one of the boxes with another add-in. 
So now we're going to try to figure out what B is because I see that this box is shared with 9 plus 5 and 8 plus whatever this number is. So if I do 9 plus 5 plus B, that's going to have to equal V. And then if I have 8 plus some other number plus B, that also is going to equal V. So whatever 8 plus this number is has to equal 14 because that's what 9 plus 5 is. So 8 plus 6 equals 14 which makes this box 6. Now by following that strategy, I now have my diagonal lined up. And so I can add this together to figure out what V is. 6 plus 5 is 11, plus 4 is going to be 15. So now I know that V equals 15. And now I can use that information to fill in all the other boxes. So 8 plus 5 is 13, plus 2 would be 15. Let's just double check that I got it correct because now I have these three, they should equal 15. 6 plus 7 is 13, plus 2 is 15. Awesome. 9 plus 5 is 14, plus 1 would be 15. And then 7 plus 5 is 12, plus 3 would be 15. So I used my problem solving strategy and I thought through it to help me figure out all of these boxes that I didn't have at the beginning. If you think that one was hard, check out our fifth grade problem this week. As always, be safe, do math, we're out.